Hi you guys, Ginger Cook here, and I'm excited to bring you on Acrylic Painting Monday, a really charming scene of a couple walking on a path in the, in the woods in the fall. And if you remember last year, uh, we did a, um, uh, uh, John and I, you know, put ourselves in a fall pa painting. Um, just kind of, it was cute, and we just, this is, that's also on YouTube. This is on a 9 by 12 canvas. And we'll show you a sponge technique again on how to do some of the trees. I also used one of those fur brushes, kind of rough fur brushes that I really particularly liked. And uh, that was by um, uh, the Terry Harrison's uh, special effects uh, brush. It's really good for grass and, and, and foliage and stuff like that. And, and I fur used them. even. And for, oh, it's great for fur too. So, but that's, uh, and then we used some, um, a liner brush with some flow, flow paint the um, some black paint to do the lines. You could also do a Posca pen if you wanted. Um, Payne's gray is probably an unusual color and a cadmium orange was a color we used and a c color that you may not be familiar with was a, um, a lizard crimson. If you don't have that you can use naphthal crimson and ultramarine blue and get what you're going for is a, that deep burgundy color that you see in, in woods. So enjoy painting this fall, you know, our, our couple walking in the woods and uh, uh, I can't wait to see what you do with it, and I hope you're going to share it with uh, on uh, our, our Facebook page, Acrylic Painting with Ginger on Facebook. want to see what you're painting, and of course your comments are always appreciated. Thanks so much. Thanks everybody. Let's get going. Let's start this painting. Let's start seeing how we did it. Hi you guys, it's Ginger Cook with Acrylic Painting Monday. We're going to be doing a fall scene of a couple Kind of romantic, really, walking through the woods. I don't know why. I guess people walk in the woods in the summer and in, in spring and stuff, but in winter. But there's something about walking through the woods in the fall that's just lovely. And um, who doesn't like colors. to do that? And all the fall colors are coming alive. And just uh, just really nature's palette. It's so beautiful. We're gonna. We have done a few of these in the past. I want. You can't have too many couples walking in the woods. And the nice thing about it is you can also. Um, change a bit and have it be maybe you and a, uh, somebody you know. It doesn't have to be the two people I put in there, but I think that I can show you kind of how to do people. And the wonderful thing about painting people from behind you guys is that um, if you have a, if you want to substitute my people for your people, take a picture of, um, and have them, someone take a picture of you guys from behind. There's something about the, your body language that will say it's you, even if um, don't you don't see the face. face. That's yeah. really interesting. It's, it's just really cool about that, okay? So we're going to come on down here. We started with the yellow 9 by 12 uh, canvas because I just happened to have a yellow one. Um, I probably would have painted this maybe kind of an, a little bit lighter, uh, but still, this is fine. This will work. We're going to be using, for colors, we're going to be using um, Payne's Gray, Yellow Oxide, Cad Yellow Medium. That could be Yellow Ochre, too, by the way. Um, Cad yellow light, cadmium orange, cadmium red light, uh, magenta, cadmium red, and this is a new color I'm going to introduce for fall, and this is called alizarin crimson. Ooh. And uh, that's something you may want to uh, you know consider. If you don't have that color, you can take naphtha crimson and ultramarine blue, and put, you, what you're looking for is a burgundy wine color. All right, which uh, that can be that. All right. So we're going to just get right to it. There's going to be... You a, did the phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, and burnt Oh, yeah, that phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and white. Sorry, John, I forgot that. I got all <laughs> caught up in these other colors. Now, the thing of it is, is that we're going to be using a sponge mm. to get these uh, trees in. It's going to be simple painting, even though it looks complicated. Follow along. Don't panic because we threw people in there, okay? Yes, <laughs> yes, and yes. So let's take a, let's take a brush like this. So we're going we're gonna to start with white. And a tiny bit of like one percent of the cad yellow medium, and um, or the cad yellow light rather, and more a little bit more white. And uh, let's take a tiny bit of burnt sienna with that, just maybe it's just a drop. There you go. Kind of gray that. What else we gray that with? Maybe I'm going to gray it with like less than one percent of alizarin crimson. Now to get less than one percent on my brush like that. Um, Let's say we off. switch this paper towel roll out for one that actually works, John. Let me just show you. If you tiny, tiny bit of alizarin crimson in there, that kind of grays the sky a bit. You, you, can, you can overdo it. 
Now, as I'm doing this, I'm going to share with you some painting tips that have come through me through my personal art coaching uh, this week. Um, one of my students was working on a tutorial, was not getting the colors right at all, and, and couldn't understand it. She felt for sure she had the color mixture. She bought phthalo blue red shade, not phthalo blue green shade. Big Most, difference. And that's you, a phthalo blue red shade. It's like ultramarine blue. You're never going to get the right colors. And then you're going to think that somehow you failed. All right. And you've got to trust me on this. Nobody has failed anybody. Um, you just didn't. Uh, yeah. Now we're going to take that same color mixture with the um, down here on our road. It's a little bit more white in that. We're going to say come in here like this where our path is. Really the road's too big a word for that. And we're going to put that color in there like this. One of the things I like about doing premieres, okay, if we get that, to dry. It, well, you can dry, so you oh. can do a lot. I can I can do a lot more interesting things simply because I have the ability to dry stuff, where you know in other cases I don't, right? So, um, and I think that this is a good opportunity right now to just dry this, but I want a little bit more white with that in here. Let's just try a little bit. I still want it kind of a light color, but let's just make this this bottom part a little bit whiter, okay? And then we'll go ahead and we'll dry it, okay? And I'll be right back. Well, probably aren't even leaving because John will just edit this <laughs> out. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> See, I didn't make you disappear. There I am. Okay, so we're going to start with the background first, and we want, um, we want some purple colors. See, I'm going to use my palette here. Uh, just an extra one so that I can mix colors on. I don't want to you get you confused, so let me just start with a new sheet. There, all right. All right, so um, I want a sort of a purpley um, blue color. So I'm going to take some ultramarine blue. And um, that uh, the um, alizarin crimson, okay. Put a little bit more, probably more ultramarine blue than that. There you go, just about like that. And some white. I'm going to add some white to that. All right, there you go. See that? That's the color I want, or variations of that. Now, sometimes when you mix on a canvas like this, what happens is if you do leave it like this, it'll all be gone in a second. It will dry out. So you can do something like that, or you just just scrape it up and use it right off your uh, knife. And I want to come along here like this and uh, just suggest some trees up here like this. There we go. And let's take a little bit of white and uh, phthalo blue and add to that and more white. Make a kind of a little a tiny bit of yellow in that. There you go. There you go. So there, there's going to do sort of this color like this. We're just going to suggest there's some trees in the background here that are not nothing too nothing too drastic. Let's bring these darker ones up a little bit taller, the ones that I want a little more purple in. I think I want a couple of these up a little higher, a little bit darker here. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to take some phthalo blue and cad yellow light. You see that green? It's put some, it's like a turquoisey green, right? See that right there? That's a great green. And that's a great green. So what you got to do... John, do we have any real paper towels anywhere? Okay. All right. I've had enough. I, 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 heads I are going to roll here. I need them. I see them over there on the sink. I she want those. Those are mine. I don't care. We have others in the storeroom. I want those. you got to get the full roll. I'm sorry. I need a... I, there you go. Thank you. Let's. I didn't know where these came from. You know what? Cinnamon was here. I don't know either. So I'm going to take this color right like this, and um, you see what I just did? No. Just, it just, just okay. Well, somebody was. I'm hoping. 
and we'll come this way with it a this little bit on our street street and um, put a little of something going like this and a little bit of that blue purple color with the green there we go something kind of this kind of a mixture of the two coming across here like this all right, so that's kind of what we're what I'm looking. At. That's probably about the only place that color is, but it needs to be there because of the other things we're doing. So that's that's looking darn pretty, just like it is. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It kind of looks like um, the Wizard of Oz, or the Land of Oz. Oh yeah, doesn't it? Consistent of just sort of. Let's take a little bit of white and cad orange and just sort of. There, blend that out. Hey, we'd like to thank the moderators for being here. We know we see you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, listen, for those of you who, sometimes when we're, we're here, people forget that we still do run the scholarship fund and we appreciate your contributions. So if you've had a chance to do so already, we want to thank you very much for that. I've got to dry this for a second, Sean, so make oh. a note of that. Well, I'll make a note of that. Duly noted, Kathy. Well, I know that right up in here I've got a very bright tree, but behind it I've got some orange. So I make sure I got all the color off the brush. And uh, let's get some of this cadmium orange and um, a tiny bit of uh, burgundy color. Let me show you the color I get then. Sort of this rust brown color. And I'm going to say I've got this color all the way up in here like that. That's the cadmium orange, orange right? And a tiny bit of burgundy, like 1%. And you can see I've got this sort of... It's like a rich, deep brown. If I add a little bit more burgundy color to it, it gets a little bit darker. But that's, I want some of this color back up in here, like that. And then as I come down this way, I'm going to add more of the burgundy color. See, that's a bit darker in this area. And if I add that to ultramarine blue, I can make it even darker. Okay. I'm going to look and see how I change the colors just by doing that. And I'm going to come along down here like this. And I don't want to lose this pretty, um, um, pretty um, uh, turquoise color, but I want something pretty dark in here like that. Then I think I'm going to take one of my, this is my new favorite thing, one of my fur brushes, and take that color and just do this because it makes it sort of a scattered color without having to do much. See? And I can just tap a bit of that up in here and still have it be dark. Yeah. And then where else do I want that color? Let's see. Let's take a little bit of the blue and the burgundy color and say I want something dark in here like that it's almost i had a paints gray but i may not need it because i'm going to say that this is going to be dark right in here and i'm going to just put this dark here and i'm going to come over here with these same same colors and um i'll have some rocks here but um Let's see, I want this pretty dark down here like this. So we're just sort of layering in. I think I'll just paint this all dark because I need it for the rocks anyway. Okay. So I'm going to say all that's dark. Okay, just sometimes, you know, when you're doing stuff, right? doesn't hurt to it's a little magenta I just put a little of that magenta in there too never hurts all right so you're going huh I know I know that's what you're doing huh it's all right go ahead and huff me that's all right <laughs> um, in this case now we're going to we're going to dry this so we don't get too messed up and then we'll keep going okay all right, now we're going to do, we're going to get out our sponges. 
These are sea sponges for those of you who have asked. Some of you have seen our fall trees that where we do use those. We'll just use a little one like that. They're natural sponges, so you get, you know, they're all different. You just kind of tear them up. You buy one and just sort of tear them up. And um, they sell them in the art supply store, and I know they overcharge for them because I, I think if you went somewhere where they just, if you're near Sea Town where people were diving for these, it wouldn't be as much money as they want in art supply stores. But nonetheless, convenience sake, you're going to probably pay a little more for these because of the art supply. All right, so let's take a little bit of the Cagello medium, bring it over here, and some white. All right, now let's see. Let's just bring this up here so you can see me mix. Okay, and a tiny bit of the the orange, like next to nothing. Okay, there you go. So it's a sort of a warm, a warm white, yes. Okay, and make sure that your sponge is just damp. And we're going to come up here, up into this area here, and I'm just going to see if that's bright enough. I think I need a little bit more cad yellow medium on it, and a little bit of that orange color. And that orange is cadmium orange? That's cadmium orange, yep. Let's see if this shows up. I'm going to try some of that cad yellow light too. Let's just not mix it that well. Let's do some of that, but don't mix it that well, right? So we have sort of a combination. All right. We kind of wad the sponge up like this. Test it. There we go. And this is one of those paintings you're going to get paint all over your fingers, so get over it. Yep. That's what she'd say to me, you know. Yep. I think I want something a little bit um, darker, so I'm going to take the orange and the yellow and just grab them both like this. <coughs> Get a the couple same sponges thing going here. at a time. Don't let the sponges dry out though on you. No. I want deeper. something a little dark, darker. in here like this. Okay. And uh, take some yellow oxide. All right, now we'll put that sponge in water. Let's take all the paint and just kind of Put it up into one place. We can. I don't think we can do much with it, but I was hoping we could save it a little bit like that, you know. Just say there's a little bit of this left right there. Now, what I'll do is take a small brush, um, this little tiny angle brush like this, same color, and I'll come up here like this and do a few little dots to give some definition to the to the leaves. Yeah. Just go out into the little yellow sky a bit, right? All right, so let's try that. So doing this in steps, take a little bit of that um, I'm going to take my this brush my fur brush 
get a little burnt sienna and a little orange and mix those together. That's too dark. Let's try some cat orange light. There we go. That's pretty. And let's come up here like this and tap in this color. And let some of that other color show through. I want to come over here on this side. A little bit more orange with this. Let's say this is the colors I want over here like that take a little bit of this yellow and tap it on here like that if you're very careful you could you could you know break up some of this color and not and not not have a problem with it okay and the same thing like in here like that. You can, well, let's, we'll use a little brush for that. So now in this area right here, we've got some light gold color, like right up in here. So this color here is more in here like that. This is more of this, this color. And uh, we'll start with some of the oranges and come up here over our road. You can use a sponge here, but this this little uh, brush works pretty well for this. Make sure you have enough paint on your brush that you see it, see the color. Or the purple right there. Okay. And then we've got, uh, uh, on this side, we've got... Um, We've got some of this kind of gold color up in here like that. Just tap it in here like this. That cad or cad red light, cad cadmium ye yellow light and the orange are really good for this because those are bright colors and you can come on up here and just using this fur brush or your sponge, you can tap this in like that over that yellow. Gives you a nice layer of color. And then in this little area right here, I want to do a little tiny bit of gray. So sort of this gray green color. Let's take a little thalo blue and white and a little orange and make kind of a gray but pretty light, okay? And I want to just tap that color in here like this. Suggest some sort of little gray plant right there. All right, now, getting there, okay? So let's put the, let's put the rocks in. You want to see those? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you want to see the rocks? I don't know. Why wouldn't they want to see the rocks? They've got they to wanna see the rocks. They want to see the rocks, right? Go to see the rocks. Of course they'd want to see the rocks. And of course, if I had a white pencil, I could show them better. There you go. So I know, for instance, that right, right here, I've got a rock, and I've got another one right here, kind of level here, and then let's lower one right here like that. Let's cut two. Then we've got a pretty good rock. So is there such a thing as a bad rock? But we've got a big rock here, smaller one. And then um, over here, see we've got we've got some rocks along here. And we've got another one right there. Okay. So we could we could put those in. So let's take some Payne's gray and uh, just uh, draw our rocks in. Don't make the, all the same shape. Make them random. Kind of random. It's hard not to make the same shapes because once your mind goes, oh, it's a rock. I can, I can do those. And like the letter A, you'll just keep making the same rock. I mean, we all do it. It's just it's tough, right? It's a little bit harder to do, but we're going to say this is our, 
Um, paintings like this are fun to do because they're just, uh, they're kind of whimsical. Um, now I'm going to go, as we get further back, I'm going to add a little brown to this. So I don't want these quite so dark, but we're going to definitely say there's some rocks along the road. Uh, I think I want this to be, I think I need this rock out further. Let's just bring this one out here. There we go, and we'll say that was this one. Okay. Yes and yes. All right, and let's have all this down like that. I think I've kind of messed up that corner anyway, so there we go, right? So, all right, so so far you're going, yeah, okay, then what? Well, while that's drying, okay, let's take a little bit of white and the, um, uh, the light orange color. And let's come along our road like this. And um, a little bit orange. Let's take a little some cad red and white. I want that a little bit paler. A little bit of uh, uh, of the burnt sienna in orange and white. A little bit, you know, a little bit. We're going to say that there's a there's a um, and then maybe a little bit of darker brown up here on the bank. Okay, everybody's with me. And uh, as long as we got that brown, let's add some brown right here like that. Oh, we could add some brown right there. Oh, let's take a little bit of paint gray and do that. I'll we'll leave this light one here for some orange when we get ready to do that, okay? So, um, cool, right? Yes and yes? Coming along nicely. Yeah, I think so too. So, all right, so we've got some white and Payne's gray, okay? And we're going to say that this rock actually is uh, mostly that color. It's a little darker at the bottom. Then I want to say there's another one up here that's here along here and then we've got the smaller one here on the rock and we could say there's a lighter rock right here swipe the brush off and try again okay Let's take a little bit of this orange and say there's some orange on top of this rock and maybe a little bit of blue to this and say this rock right here is more of a blue gray. Put a little blue on that one too. Never hurts, right? So we got Never. some rocks. All right, so far so good. Yes and yes. And, uh, so then, I know that I've got a tree. I think this is, let's just dry this, just down on the safe side. We'll put our trees in. All right, so I've got a tree that's starting up right above here, right about here, kind of curves up and ends up here. It's a dotted tree. Whoops. Let's try Payne's Gray again. 
Maybe a little brown in that. Make sure you get it all the way off the canvas. Then I've got another one back here that ends here and here and here. Just to put a few dots where it goes. Start with the darkest color first. We can always add the light on it. The trees are whiter at the bottom than they are at the top. Don't forget that. It's a little important detail, but it matters, yeah. Now we also know we've got we've got a tree starting right here and going pretty much straight up here like this. I get that color in a little um, the lizard and crimson on the black black that black paints gray which is basically black and ultramarine blue and we're going to put some lizard and crimson with this tree almost coming down like that and it's got kind of it's not it's, there you go Got some little nuts, you know, little edges coming out. And then I want to say this one is here. So we're going to say this tree's coming up. Oops. Like that. Got a little bit too much paint on the brush. It's all right. Put it on this tree. All right, so we got those two trees. This one's going to come in front of that one a little bit. And we've got some others, but we got those are the two trees that for sure we know we have. And then there's a tree back in here like this. There's a couple of small ones. And then, of course, there's some small ones here, too. Um, this one doesn't go all the way up, it just gets a little thinner as it goes up. Okay. Okay, so let's do another one. All right, so we've got got another one here, but I'm not quite ready to put that one in. But um, uh, let's try that. So I want to add some color back in here a little bit. So I can take a little bit of the burnt sienna, kind of right back by this tree here. I'm going to add some of this foliage. And then right back in here like this, I'm going to add some foliage. Just this little, little rock coming up in here like that. Okay, see what I did? Um, I really want something a little bit brighter and glowier, right? Well, it's cad red and yellow. What do I got there? Note that makes a difference. That didn't really show up. There you go. It's just 
tad red and we can say that there's some leaves coming down at top like this in front of these trees. Don't, don't overdo it with this color, but the same thing up here, we can say that there's some red colors in here. You could do a sponge with this too. Take a little of this burgundy color up here on the corners. Keep it, keeping it simple. Um, that's all we're doing is keeping it, just pretty much keeping it simple. Some of that we can do by hand, but let's take a little bit of the yellow here and t tap in some of that by these rocks up here like that. That adds some brightness to it. Yeah, doesn't good, it? Good contrast there. Some cad yellow light. Cad yellow. Okay, so you can see where we've got, and maybe I could take that color and just put it down here like this. And uh, take a little of that lighter yellow. Okay, so we're getting we're getting a little of this light color. It's probably not the brush to do it with, but you can see where we're. Well, I don't know. We're, I we're, we're, it's, it's it's kind of nice, isn't it? It's I just think it's kind of effective. Um, a little bit of a light highlight on this rock. Let's see, let's wipe the brush off and just. Alright, so what we want to do is, I'm going to turn the painting sideways now, and I want to take some, um, it's a gray color, which should just be white, and um, um, not sure I want this brush for that. Let's change brushes. thought it might work, look good, but it, I don't feel like I like it, so that's easy enough to do. We're going to say we want some gray. How'd you make that gray? Just white and paints gray. Okay. You don't want a straight line, you want it sort of staggered. The same thing here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to say that uh, it's just easier to pull it towards you. That, that away from you. All right, so let's turn this around now, okay? Um, Yeah, we're going to put some, let's, let's get a little bit of purple and white. That would be that lizard and crimson color, right? Let's get a little bit of that color on that tree, too. A little bit here, too. Let's, some reflected light on this tree. Put it in here. Okay, let's just see nothing's ever just one color. People always try to make it one color, it just isn't. Um, 
this. What I just kind of lost some of this tree here. I'm going to put it back. Oh, I didn't want that white on it, but it's all right. Happy accident in this case because we got to go back with a little white. Your next next highlight color. All right, and you'll see how we've got these. I think the trees are very pretty, and um, very fallish. Yeah, aren't aren't they fallish? Right. Yep. And um, so. I don't really think that yellow uh, underpainting was a good choice myself. Yeah, it was. Didn't make it. Made, it was a good, cho good it choice. Keeps the John. whole painting warm. Take a little bit more of this kind of orange color and put it right here. All right, a little bit of cadmium orange here, maybe there. Um, just interesting. I, I love color, as you guys know. And stuff like this just is fun because you get these great colors, right? You just do, and um, you get this beautiful contrast in colors. And you just normally wouldn't get that anywhere. Let's try some cad red on that. Yeah, I'm going to just tap in some red up here like that. Using just the corner of my brush. Maybe that's, that was cad red light. Let's just do cad red medium. So two different reds. Okay. Now let's come up here with the cad red medium using the side of the brush. Let's just tap on a few. You can get so far with the sponge, you know, the sponge or whatever, and then you've got to start using a little brush like that. I'm going to do some cad red light and even some of that cadmium orange. And let's come up here with a little bit of that. Let's bring the foliage up here like this around this rock. See how we keep layering it in? Keep adding depth to it. Well, we do. And, and it's, an, it's an interesting process, okay? Because, for instance, I know that I need some cadmium, or rather, not rather some... Um, this is um, yellow oxide, right? And I need a little yellow oxide tree over here. In the background. I'll take some of that and a little bit of the orange with it. So that blue's there, but it's kind of hiding in between all these colors. See what I mean? We did with that. It's, it's really, I think it's kind of, I love the effect this has. You know, the effect when you get that. And Some cadmium orange light, or cadmium, yeah, this cadmium orange right here, right there, that's right next to this tree. See that? It 
Again, and it's the lights and darks. I, I know, and it's just so interesting. This is such a great tutorial on doing that, on just getting that out there. And it's fun for me to paint, too. Um, it's that cad light right there, right? just a little bit right there. There's the leaf here. And let's get a little tiny tree growing up the trunk. Some sort of little crazy bush. Okay. So wow, you just got it. You've got a pretty um, interesting um, painting. We haven't even put the people in. Now we're going to put some white down here. Uh, Going across this way with the white. Those that are just joining us, I'm a little late maybe, it's a 9 by 12 painting. Did a lot of, with, he started with a cad yellow background under painting. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting because I want to make this rock a little bigger. I kind of lost this rock here in the front. Let's just bring it out a little further, this rock right here. Have it grow up a little bit. Yeah, let's just have it come up a little bit here and this one a little bit bigger too. Okay. So um, then you add a little bit, you know, you add some gray to it. Let's just add it. Paint's gray is ultimately blue and white. So if you just add a little, add a little gray to it, in some places you'll you'll get that sort of blue gray color, just by adding white. Okay. So then we'll just put a little bit of white highlight on top. Okay, so this, I like that rock a little better. Let's see, do we have anything a little bit... We want to say that the that the pond kind of ends here. Create a little bit of a bank. Yeah, kind of. That's what we're doing here. Is it just a little bit of a bank here, like that? Okay. So we're saying the pond. That's kind of what our where our pond ends. And then we've got. This is pretty dark right here in the corners, but I, I'm I'm um, then if you're saying that say straight down from this tree, of course it would be darker right there. Okay. All right, so there you you know that's. All right, let's dry that and do, just do some details and throw in the people. What do you guys think? Well on our way. Now, if you've come a long way with me on this one, okay. Which and, we know you have. And I'm going to suggest that we actually use a flow paint because 
I think I will do carbon black on a flow if I have any in here. Let's see what else I got. We know we bought all new stuff. Here's primary black. I mean, there's some stuff in here. I can feel it. I don't know about that other one. I've got some in here too. And let's um, let's get up. Yeah, what do we have in here? Just something. Let's just shake that up really well. Pour it over this way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I need a like a liner brush. Those are the long skinny ones. Kind of like this. And you wet it. And what it does, let me just show you. See what I'm doing? Like that? Do. That is the only, and you, of the flow paint. So we're going to say that we have a a branch is coming up there like that. And uh, we had a little tree coming in here like this. Okay, there's that one. I've got a little branch coming here. And I've got another one kind of coming up here like that. It's going to be, you've got to give a thicker elbow. If you think about your arm, give it a thick, thicker elbow where it leaves the tree. <coughs> and then I've got a little tiny one coming across here. Well, you can go a little crazy with this, but no, it's adding depth and character to the painting. Yeah, it did, it did, it did didn't it? Like I say, you can overdo it, but you can kind of get the idea that this is um, harder. You push the harder the you know the harder the, the thicker the line, so don't push hard. <laughs> That's the solution. Now, it's a delicate touch. I also have some white flow paint. which we're going to use as a highlight on these. We're going to dry the black first, though. Otherwise, we just end up with gray, right? So let's just dry this again. I'm going to shake up the white. Where did I put those little... Here we go. Here's another one of these little trays. Those are those are from um, the guacamole. Um, <laughs> those are guacamole trays. You're laughing about that. You say, what is a guacamole tray? Well... Those uh, are you can buy guacamole dip already pre-made in little packages. You get to get eight to a package, and that's what's left over after you after you use those. I remember the day I started saving you. You said, "Why you do that?" Well, John does have a bit of a hoarder when he saves things. I'm surprised we don't have a giant ball of ring 
of, of string somewhere in the garage, too. Well, I kind of keep that secret. I mean, he does do this, you guys. I mean, yeah, I'm, but how many times have you used those? Well, I like these, but yeah. I'm just asking, how many glass jars do you need? I haven't decided yet. Apparently not, because we have a lot of them, <laughs> right? You can never have enough. I believe the other day you came across something you needed, and I happened to have it. Well, this is true. Not, 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 not denying it. That's going to be a rock there. Okay, so I think that's a nice um, addition myself to the, notice the white isn't all the way up the tree, it's just in a few spots, we have something a little bit wider. All right, so you've got sort of a nice painting, you know, before you even put the pe people in, I think, don't you think, John? Yeah, it really is nice. I mean, you know, I mean, I think it's sort of pretty when we haven't done anything with the people. So let's... It's going to really dry it really well before you attempt to do those people. Yeah, let's just dry all this because I'm very happy with that so far. And let's just dry everything. Just in case you want to do it again. Okay. So... Let's try a small... brush here. Okay, here's a, here's a little um, uh, small angle brush. Three eighths inch. Yeah, and I want to just take some of this cad orange and come out here like that and bring some foliage out a little bit further than we have it. Maybe some cad red medium. Just using the corner of my brush. All right, I wanted to make sure we had that, right? I just put a little bit of red on this tree here, too. Okay, so. Um, Oh, let's do a little bit of this cad red over here too, just a few little dots of something. All right. So I'm going to put my people, and they're going to be about this tall. And um, they're just going to start about here. They're going to go up to this height here, and they're going to be in this square space right here. Does that make sense? Now let me just show you, get my chalkboard out for a minute. I can show you that. There's a formula for doing people like this. Oh really? Yeah. People don't know if there just is. And if you understand that, you can kind of throw people in almost anything if you're not too Careful, right? I mean, she's just not crazy, right? So let's say that um, men are, are like a triangle like this, okay? That, that's their deal, right? 
So you've got a head here, and then their shoulders are going to come down like this. Okay. And let's say there's a jacket, right? And then in this case, we can say we can say where the legs are. So we're going to say that here's a leg going out like this, and one's just straight down. We're talking about from behind, maybe there's the back of a hat, but you might see an arm. Um, say, let me just blow this up so you can see it. Um, and then he's got an arm here that he's holding her hands with, but you don't really see it. So all you're talking about, their legs is something like this, where, like we're seeing, if her dress was here, and then she's got some, you know, some legs here like that. Let's just say that she's, w women have a tendency to be a little bit wider in the hips, not always, but usually. So we're going to say that there's her head right here. And then she's walking next to him like that. And that's pretty, pretty, um, we don't have to talk about it, right? Okay, I want to just show you. Where's that picture I had? This is the picture that John and I, you know, did on YouTube one time. We just put ourselves in the picture, and that was a little bit more complicated. But this one is definitely not, right? Do you see that? So depending on what, you know, we're saying this is red. We'll say this is his coat here. Let's have an arm here, and then. His arm here is kind of touching hers, and that's it. That, that's that's all we're saying about these people, right? Makes sense. Indeed, it does. So uh, sometimes it just helps to know it. So basically, it's um, just coming back to this. It's um, women are almost this shape, right? And men are men are like this shape. Okay, that's kind of the formula. Make sense? Easy peasy. Well, all right. So I want to say that I think I'll use my Posca pen to put them in because I can wipe it. it off if I don't like it. So I know that I'm going to start with her. She's going to, her head's going to be here. And I think she, and it, so if we're saying it's heads here, and then here's her um, back of her dress right here, like this. Like that, and then maybe there's an arm here like this coming out to here, and there's some hair or something, right? So that's her, and then he's, his arm is close to hers. He can be a little taller, not that we're being chauvinistic or anything, but he could be a little taller. He's got to be a little wider in the shoulders, and his jacket's got to taper more like about like that. An arm like this. Okay, with me? And then We'll just let his leg come this way and um, down like this. So those, you know, I mean, we could give her a hat if we wanted, but I don't think we need to. I think we'll just, I think I don't know that that adds anything because we're trying to keep this very simple, right? Okay, so those are going to be our two people in the woods. I'm going to, I think I want to make him a little taller. Like that. So then I've got some happy with that. If I wasn't, I could just take a white rag and wipe that off. Okay, let's try it. So I'm going to say that he's got a gray coat like this.
Well, that's not the brush I want, but that's all right. Give it a shot anyway. Um, let's just go with it. Just going to give him some. Let's see. We'll just get him a little bit of a shadow right here. Like that. You want to see some light between his legs. Put his feet right about there. Okay. And we'll just make him, we'll just give him black hair. We're not going to get you nuts about him. We'll just say he's got some black hair like that, okay? So let's just come on down here with the arm. Okay. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so I'm just going to um, dry it. And because it's a fall picture, I want her to have, um, I want her to have red, um, a red dress. Maybe a little bit of a kind of cad red, maybe. And uh, I'm going to give her black hair, too, because I think that that's nice. Maybe some black boots. Styling. And we don't need to say that much about these guys. They're just in the picture. If you have a picture of, of yourself walking, that might be fun to add that. But again, you don't need to, like I say, I don't want to say that much about them. Okay. And um, I want to take the, um, it's a little bit of white paint here, do a little bit of white on his shoulders like this and I've got a little bit of white around her hair and I'm not sure I want that or his let's just take a little bit of barely want to see any of that just you know there they are they're just there now maybe there. I'm they're kind of backlit, right? And then we'll take some. Um, oh, her, her her legs are sort of curved. I didn't want that. Let's get the get the boots straight down. All right. So let's let's get some white. Uh, let me dry that, and then I can correct her legs. Okay. Nope. 
Try white paint here. Okay, so let's do some of that. Put that put some of that white road in here. Need to fix this leg here, but I will. Okay, so what we're saying happened here is that we can take a little bit of that purple gray color. We're going to say that there's some shadows back behind them. So if we put a little light around them, like that, See what we just did? Just kind of that warm light here. And let's do a let's kind of repair his legs a little bit. Didn't get them quite full enough. I think I'll use the black Posca pen. Might be well. No, I won't. But I do want to give him more some more legs, right? I, I think I might give her a green scarf. What do you think? It would be nice with the red, with the red coat. Yeah, like a nice Very bright chic. green green scarf. Yeah. Hmm. I could guess him. We could give him a top of a green hat. What do you think? Nope. No green hat for you. <laughs> no. Nope. Green hat for you. There, okay. So we've got. They are, so they're just kind of holding hands, walking. Walking arm in arm. How yeah. romantic. I think so. Don't you think so? Because that's not really. It's not really about them. It's about. It's about the lights and darks and cap capturing all of that, right? Um, there. Okay. Looks yeah. good. That looks, you know, just again, that it's really. Um, They're just people. Did I dry that already? Because I want this light to come in like this. I don't think you dried the pants. There, just a little bit more of that. And then finish this butt right here. There, okay, there we go. Gave a high end. You know, everybody needs one of those, right? Okay, so, you know, do we need, much of that? No, I don't think so. We just didn't need much of anything. Now let's finish the, now this is fun. Let's finish the, um, let's come up here like this. Get your reflections.
reflections in the palm. Yeah, kind of this purple. We'd like to thank everybody for joining us this evening. Oh yeah, Hopefully as you can see, we're just we're just about getting this done here. But yeah, well, I thought uh, again, thanks to the moderators for keeping Riff and Raff away. We have a pretty good group. We don't really get Riff and Raff in there very often. Well, we don't, do we? No, we're low-profile people. Who wants to mess with a bunch of old guys? And. Um, I want to dry this and do the final touches, but I think I think I'm just about 99.9% .9 done it. While I'm 99.9, I I'm going to give you 99.7 tops. Yeah, I think I am, but I just want to dry it and then I add some of the highlights on the water, and uh, see what you guys think. We'll let's throw let's it finish into a frame it up. Just and do some frame. final touch ups and yeah. bada bing. Bada bing. Okay, let's dry this. Let's just take my. My white flow paint and it's not flowing with this stuff. Maybe I didn't mix it up well enough. Did you shake it good? I don't know, John. Who <laughs> knows? We think we did, but you never know, do you? No, you never do. Always the last to know. Um, um, but I think this is kind of sweet, don't you? I think so. It was a great time to go walking. It beats the 108 degree weather we've been having. Don't hesitate to, you know, add a few little lights and darks places. You can see where we've got um, Yeah, I mean I mean if we put something a little lighter around her. pop out a little bit more but uh, sure you've got those lines going across the reflections yeah let's just put this in a frame I really it's just exactly how I wanted it to come out you gotta say that and um, that's always nice when that happens the frames behind me it may or may not be. I guess it isn't, but uh, oh. while well, John's uh, getting the frame so you guys can see it, um, um, I think I pretty much have it. Um, um, let's see. John's getting the frame, and I see a couple. Of, I think in gold, too. I think gold gold's a frame that, you know, the thing about it is, you guys, you can do a painting. And change the paintings for your seasons. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, here before he gets too far with that, here's some of this burgundy color. I want to come next to this tree right here with that burgundy.
There you go. All right, just small stuff. Perfect. Yeah. Just really, um, I think a, a well thought out painting. And um, I'll just sign that, it. That is one classy piece right there. That that'd be uh, gorgeous, big. Oh yeah, wouldn't it? And then I would say that if you're going to do it big, go Google some people walking. Don't just take my word for it, because I sort of made that up. You know what I mean? Just on basically what I know about doing people. Um, I would go ahead and Google people walking from behind. Maybe, again, I would try to get myself in it uh, if you can. I mean, I would do that, right? But I'm just going to say it. I will just sign it right here. That means it's done. Paint brushes down. Yeah, it's done. Brushes down. More or less. Um... And what, what, how did I do time-wise on that, John? You got about a buck and a half. About an hour and a half? Seems like that's about what it takes to do a landscape these days, isn't it? About an hour and a half. <laughs> you know, you try it to do to a little more, case. but... Um, that's all right, though. Looking primo. Yeah, we are looking primo. That's a little brighter. Sometimes those pens are brighter. All right, um... Couples walking in the woods, surely you want to share this and this video with others. Uh, let them know that this is the kind of quality we put out on YouTube. We would appreciate your help in uh, getting the word out. Um, and uh, and I'd love to see what you're painting. Uh, there's a couple little things I want to do. And I just, I'll, uh, only that I didn't finish this rock right here, right? I knew it. Right. Well, you know, this little rock right here, we had it in there, and then we forgot to finish it, right? We did? Yeah, I mean, that would be me, but... <laughs> That'd be the you we. All right. So, I got it just needed a little finishing, yeah, didn't it? Um, of course it did. It's really a really nice-looking painting. It's a pretty painting. I think it's really... Um, I think it's really pretty, and I think that um, it's something that you can have a lot of fun painting yourself. It's not too hard. Um, it's got some good colors in it, good fall colors. I think the sponge made it nice and easy. It did. And I tell you what, that, that one brush is so good with the... Oh, our fur brush? Our fur brush is so good, right? All right, there you go. Brush is down. Hey, it's been fun. Um, like I say, John and I are uh, traveling. This is the last of our free trips. Um, it, uh, I've you got have to come back to reality. Come back to reality, and next year I don't think we really have any plans at all, except to just do more fun stuff. If you if you want to have some help with your artwork, consider personal art coaching for under fifty dollars a month. I can help you with your artwork; it makes a big difference. Um, and uh, speeds the process. Speeds the process. So love you guys. See you soon, and see you next week, same time, same station. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.